Hey YouTube, so market's going crazy and I wanted to share with you three stocks that uh, I'm looking at and some of the um, I guess dilemmas that I have with investing you know as I get further along into this you know you get you run into dilemmas that you didn't expect especially with individual stock picking um, so let's start off you know first one I'm looking at and uh, JMAG actually pointed this one out and this Cisco has been on my radar for a while and um, they are just a cash machine uh, Cisco is and uh, they've come out with some new router switch thing I don't know I'm not a big tech guy um, but I've researched Cisco enough to know that uh, they're a leader you know and and they're at a value right now they've dropped uh, I, I think they missed earnings or something um, but as you can see I, I'm on a six month chart and uh, it's it's been downhill in the past couple of days after they made some sort of announcement of the new product line um, they're starting to rise back up but uh, Cisco you know three percent dividend for a tech stock is is very good you normally don't get that in the tech you know growth sector but Cisco's a excuse me a long-standing company that I think is um, I think is at a good good buying point right now um, and that leads me to stock number two and it also leads me to the dilemma that you know I've run into with individual stock picking and that's I don't have a position in Cisco now these next two stocks I do have positions in and the first one I'm going to share with you is Ventos and they've been under pressure uh, they missed earnings and I think they lowered guidance um, but it's a REIT it's a, a medical uh, healthcare REIT mo mostly senior housing and uh, this thing pays 5.63% dividend yield. Uh, Ventos is the type of company or type of REIT that uh, doesn't give you uh, big windows of opportunity to invest. And right now they are. Um, are you looking at the six month chart here? You know, high was up, in, up close to $75 a share. And we're down in the $55 range now. You know, is it going to keep going down? Probably. I mean, uh, the good thing, though, is with free trades, you know, I can buy a share here. I can buy a share there, two there, three there, and just build my position like that. So as this is going down, I'm averaging down as it's going down. So that dilemma is that I want to build this position but Cisco I would love like to also build a position but you know if, if you're not sitting on a bunch of cash and you're just investing as you go you know you don't you, you can't you have to pick and choose you know am I gonna start a position in Cisco and you know not average down in Ventos because that would have to be the choice you know, and that brings me to the next next stock, which is Bristol Myers. And if you look at this uh, six month uh, chart, it's total opposite of Ventos. See that? And Bristol Myers, I've I've spoke on them before, and they've uh, completed their uh, their um, merger with Celgene. And you know, I would like to buy more of this stock this is you know close to a three percent yield uh, for a massive company now look market cap 150 billion dollars PE of 18 with all kinds of growth ahead of it you know just July they were trading for 42 bucks you know um, I think they have more of a runway still 
But this also is another dilemma that I have is that I don't like buying stocks when they're running up. So I bought, you know, 10 shares around, where did I buy that? Around here, 50, I think my average cost is 56.70, right in there. So I've, I've only had it for a month and it's, you know, up 12, 13%. So, you know, I would like to build more of a position in Bristol Myers, but it goes against my value investing rule that I don't like buying stocks when they're going up. Ventos, I like buying stocks when they're going down, you know, and I think that I don't want to chase chase stocks going up. Um, and that's really uh, the dilemma I have. So I'm probably most likely not going to start a position in Cisco. Uh, I'm just going to continue building my position in Ventas and um, I'm hoping Bristol Myers, you know, if they keep coming going up then that's just the way it's going to be. You know, I only have 10 shares and uh, we'll just ride that out. But uh, anyway, that is all I have. I uh, just wanted to share with you those three stocks and what my mindset is and how I invest. And um, if you have any comments, any questions, leave them down below and we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye-bye.